Today, I'm going to show you how to make a simple 3D mock-up of a box in Photoshop. This is handy for packaging projects because clients really like to see what your box packaging design would look like if it were actually printed out and sitting on a shelf. So here, I've created a 3D mock-up of a box in Photoshop and I was able to create this from my flat mock-up, which I created in Illustrator. I turned each side of the box into a single JPEG file. I placed these JPEG files in Photoshop and manipulated them to make my mock-up. So you can see how big of a difference it makes in terms of presentation. And you'll be able to use these same techniques from this tutorial for other design mock-ups like business cards and stationery. So let's get started. So we're starting off with three JPEGs of three sides of the box and the way you get them in your document is clicking File, Place, and then all you have to do is select the files you want and click Place. I've redone this, so let's get to it. So I selected the front layer, and now we're going to select all our layers, and we are going to rasterize them so that we can edit them later. So you go to Layer, Rasterize, Layers. Now they're all rasterized. Let's start manipulating the front side, so go to Edit, Free Transform. Now a selection box has appeared. So I'm going to hold down Command for Macs or Control for PCs, and a little white arrow will appear here. And you're going to click this point and drag it up a bit hit enter. Let's do the same for the top of the box. Edit, free transform, Com hold down command or control, and we're going to do the same. I'm just going to make sure it's even. Now we're going to drag down this part, holding down Command or Control. Hit Enter. And now we're going to do this with the last side. Edit. Free Transform. go in and make sure it's even. And now you've got your basic box shape. So I'm just going to polish it up a bit. And I'm going to start by kind of shaving off this back corner to improve the perspective. And I'm going to make do this by using the polygonal lasso tool to make a very nice even selection. So I'm gonna just click and drag around. Now you've got a nice selection and I'm gonna hit delete 
and deselect. And now let's get to adding a drop shadow. So I'm going to make it black. We're going to create a nice rectangle tool, rectangle shape in black. And we're just going to put it under all our layers. And we are going to manipulate it using our trusty free transform tool, holding down command or control. And now we've got the shape we want. And we're going to turn it into a drop shadow. So the way you do this is go to layer, layer style, drop shadow. And we can just play around with these a bit. OK. Now I've got a subtle little drop shadow. So the last, or well, one of the last things we're going to do is add a reflection so that it looks like this box is sitting on a shiny surface. So we're just going to duplicate the front side and the right side by going to duplicate layer, duplicate layer, edit free transform, and we're going to rotate it. See a little rotation symbol pop up? We're going to just turn it upside down. Enter. And we're just going to make sure the shadow is above these both. Now we're going to rotate the side around. So go to edit. Free transform. Just gonna rotate it upside down. And now we've got them where we want them and we're going to add a layer mask. So we're going to start with the front. Click Layer Mask. Hit Gradient Tool. And I'm just going to make sure it goes from black to white. And now we're going to do a little click and drag. Oh. Oops, it's actually from white to black. And see how it made it fade a little? And we're going to do the same for the right side. Hit layer mask, gradient, click and drag. Now we've got a nice little reflection. So we're going to do one last thing. And that's going to be using a brush tool to make a sort of shadow in the back. So I'm going to pick a nice gray here. Go to my brush tool. And we're going to make sure it's nice and soft. 
and well, looks about the right size. And we're going to, oh, it's a little dark. Let's make it gray. And just kind of get it where you want it. And there you go.